discussing about adverb and then we will understand the type of adverb which is adverb of focus. Now basically adverbs are used to modify the adjective or nouns before which they are being used. They can also be used before a phrase or a clause. Now let us talk about adverb of focus. Now the adverb of focus these are the words which are basically used in the sentences to indicate that whatever is being said it is limited to that particular area or to that particular field. So uh, examples of adverb of focus are I mean the verbs that we can use to indicate that these are the adverbs of focus they are only alone just at least even so these are some of the examples of adverb of focus now let us implement these in our sentences so I can say that uh, I will go on this tour alone now here alone is my adverb of focus. Why is this my adverb of focus? Because I am just focusing on that particular tool which means that this tool is limited and the people going in this tool is also limited because I am not letting anyone else into this tool. I, this is my solo trip. This is my solo tool. I will go alone in this too. So I am focusing on that particular point. Therefore this is adverb of focus. Another example can be only Rita noticed the grammatical mistake. Now when I talk about Rita I am saying that only Rita. This is again the focus point that out of all the students or I can say out of all the people, I am just focusing on Rita. Why? Because there is something extraordinary because she has done something exceptional or something unique or she is all out of everyone. Why? Because she has done something unusual or something unexpected or something extraordinary which the others have failed to achieve. And that, what it says over here, that she has noticed the grammatical mistake which the other people have not noticed and it is only Rita. That is why we are focusing just on Rita. So only over here is again my adverb of focus. Why? Because out of everyone we are just focusing on Rita. Another example can be I will take at least one day off. Now at least one day out of all the days I am focusing on only one day which I will consider as my holiday on which I will take a leave or which I will consider to be my off day. So out of all the days I am focusing on just that day and for that I am using my adverb at least. So at least only alone these are all my adverb of focus. Now next we are going to talk about the adverb just and justly. We will be talking about just and justly. Now this just and justly is an adverb of focus. This also focuses on the thing that is being done and nothing else but this is not considered or this is not compared to an adjective just or a noun justice. So the adverb
verb just is different from the adjective just and it is different from the noun justice. Now there are many phrases which contain just in them. Example can be just now or just then. Then another example can be just here or just there. Another can be just as you say or just is also applied with only and it is only just. So let us implement these. Uh, we can say that we only just managed to catch the flight we only just managed to catch the flight only just means very recently or just now just at that moment okay so just at that moment it is like we were about to miss but just a second away we were from missing. So at that time we make use of the phrase only just. Another example can be. The guest arrived at my place. Just now. The guest arrived at my place just now. Just now means again I am focusing on that point of time. So this is again my adverb of focus. <clears throat> this is my adverb of focus because I am not talking about any time. I am talking about a time that I am specially pointing at. So just now, this is again I'm focusing on that time that has occurred just now. So just now is again my adverb of focus. And this is where we can make use of the adverb just. So now this was the first, that is just. Second is justly. Now justly is that similar to providing justice to someone. Or we can also use with the word rightly. Right? Example can be as he justly said. Now as he justly said or as he rightly said both are the same. So in this case we make use of the adverb justly. Another example is The judge justly punished him. The judge justly punished him. Here justly is used as a justice. Justly is used as justice. Why? Because I can also say justice was given to the innocent person. And how was the justice given? That the criminal was punished. Right? That the victim was given justice and the criminal was punished. So in that case, I am using my adverb justly. And here the adverb justly becomes my adverb of focus. Next we will be talking about the adverb late and lately. Now late and lately are both different adverbs, right? The meaning of both the adverbs are different. Now the first let us say late. Now the adverb late is the opposite of the adverb early. And we can use late in different phrases like go to bed late. 
stay up late so go to bed late stay up late arrive late so we can use late in these cases so example can be maya could not wake up in the morning because she went to bed late so went to bed bed late means that she was late while sleeping she slept late so went to bed bed late means she slept late right another example can be my friend arrived late so my friend arrived late means again she, he wasn't early or she wasn't early she was late due to any kind of reason so lately now lately means recently so lately over here means recently and uh, example of usage of such at works can be i lately realized my mistake so here lately refers to recently that recently or just now i realized my mistake or it has not been a while since i have realized my mistake another example of the usage lately can be you have been disturbed lately now you have been disturbed lately means that i see that you are kind of disturbed recently right so here lately means recently and late is the opposite of the adverb early right next we will be understanding the usage of the adverb only and just now only can be used before an adjective an adverb or a noun it can also be used before or after a noun or a pronoun now the usage of the word only either before or after the sentence changes the meaning of the sentence so it modifies the verb basically so first we are talking about only only modifies the verb against which it is used now it can be used before an adjective before an adverb or before a noun it can also be used before or after a noun or pronoun and the usage of the word only if only is used before a noun then the meaning of the sentence will be different if it is used after the noun the meaning will change completely so now let us understand the concept of only through examples like i say she only lent me an umbrella now she only lent me an umbrella it now here only is used before a verb lent is a verb so before a verb we are making use of an adverb only so this means that she only lent me an umbrella she did not sell the umbrella so did not sell 
she did not sell but only lent me the umbrella another example can be i ate only four toffees now when i am saying only four toffees now here four is my adjective of number so here four is my adjective and i am using only before the adjective here it means that only four and not more than four okay only four not more than four then another example is only you can speak now here you is my pronoun in this case i am using only before a pronoun here the meaning will change completely only you can speak means not anyone else so no one else is allowed to speak only you can speak so now in these cases we can notice that only when used with verb the meaning is different when used with adjective it has a completely different meaning and when used with pronoun again the meaning of the sentence is different from that of adjective or the verb so only the usage of only with different kind of nouns pronouns or adjectives the meaning of the sentence will completely change now for example i say you can only she can only speak when i say she can only speak means that she can only speak not read or write she can only speak she cannot read she cannot write but when i say only she can speak here only she can speak is similar to only you can speak only she can speak not anyone else and when i use only at the last i say she can speak only which means that she can only speak but she cannot do any other work so cannot do any other work that work can include cooking dancing reading whatever which means that she only knows how to speak and if you expect her to do something else then you are foolish because she is just capable of speaking and doing nothing else so now we can notice that the adverb only is placed in different different areas in the sentence and accordingly the meaning of the sentence has also changed similarly for the adverb just just is again used in the case similar to only like whenever you are placing just in the sentences so the position of just will change the meaning of the sentence example is just sign here when i say just sign here means that you are supposed to sign and do nothing else and when i say sign just here which means that i'm talking about a particular spot where you need to sign so again the position of my adverb just changes the meaning of the sentence completely just sign here means you are only supposed to sign and do nothing else 
and sign just here. I have just interchanged the position and the entire meaning of the sentence has changed. So, in this video, we have learnt about the adverb of focus and then we have discussed different areas in which the words of adverb of focus can be used. Then, we have also understood that the usage of words like only and just in the sentences can change the meaning of the sentence completely.